Hey guys, welcome back to Pompoween. If you're new here, then welcome. My name is Pompberry, and October is my favorite month of the year, and I celebrate by doing 31 days of Halloween, or as I like to call it, Pompoween, where I release one video a day showing you how to do a new makeup look every day. And today I'm going to be doing a cute version of Baphomet. I've always wanted to do this look and this look is actually going to be an art recreation. I'm going to recreate one of the pieces by Art Attack. Her name is actually Kate Logan but she goes by Art Attack on social media. And this is the little Baphomet I'm going to be recreating. I actually have this print up on my wall here in my little makeup station. I really really love this print of hers. I love her art. I've been following her for a really long time and I figured now would be the perfect time to recreate this piece of hers. So let's get started but before I begin please don't forget to like and subscribe if you haven't already and be sure to hit that bell button if you want to be notified every time I upload and I'm sure that you will want to do that this month because there's a lot of good stuff coming your way. So yeah I think that's about it. I've already gone ahead and covered up my eyebrows. If you don't know how to do that I'm going to leave a link right up here to my eyebrow covering tutorial. And my skin is moisturized, but I'm also going to prep it with Dermashield. This is a barrier cream. This is to protect sensitive skin. And I like using this when using any face paints. My skin tends to break out a lot when I use face paint. So just as a little added layer of protection, I'm going to use this and you just have to shake it up and it's in foam form. And then you just apply it to your face. It smells pretty bad, but it works really well. For my base, if I did the blue underneath with face paint, then the yellow design on top could mix with it and it could turn green. And I really don't want that to happen. So instead, I'm going to be doing a cream base so that I'm free to use face paint on top without mixing the colors up. So I'm gonna be starting off with the Makeup Forever color stick in the color M204. This is just a light blue. And I'm gonna be taking that all on the perimeter of my face and onto my cheeks as well, on my forehead, down my nose. And I'm gonna leave this middle area blank because I'm going to go in with white. I'm gonna take a damp beauty blender first just so I can get this evened out. These paint sticks smell really, really good and the coverage is insane. Gotta be careful because I don't want it all the way to the tip of my nose. That's going to be white too. And I'm gonna bring some of that on the sides of my neck. I guess onto my shoulders too. I don't like using cream products on my body because you have to set them so it's double the work. But I do want to keep the color consistent so I'm just gonna go ahead and do it. Now that I think about it, I probably should have done the white first. I don't know why I didn't honestly. You always want to start with the lightest colors. Now I'm going in with the Makeup Forever color stick in the color M110. It's the white one and I'm gonna use a brush to help me be more precise with the application. Basically want to do circles around the eyes and another circle around the mouth. Then connect those three circles, filling in the nose area as well. Then I'm going to start blending the edges with the brush. I'm going to wipe off the brush when it starts getting a little too blue. I'm grabbing some more white paint on it. I'm also going to use some of the Mehron Clown White Light and I'm going to take that on my Beauty Blender. I feel like this one's slightly more opaque than the color stick. But yeah, this definitely makes a huge difference. I'm gonna blend around the edges. I kinda think that I look like a little monkey. But anyway, I'm also gonna take the white down the center of my body. Now I actually want to widen the bridge of my nose. So I'm gonna take a little bit of that blue on a flat brush and I'm going to apply it on the sides of the bridge of my nose so that I can widen it a bit. Now because this is all cream, I have to set everything with translucent powder to stop it from moving around my face. And I'm just using the RCMA No Color Powder on a very, very big powder puff. And I'm going to be applying heavy, heavy quantities of this powder. Before you set your eyes, make sure that there are no creases. I have so much powder on my face. And the reason for that is grease paints and color sticks and cream paints like this, they don't ever set. They're not like a foundation or concealer that are cream based, but are self setting. These never set. They will never dry no matter what. So you have to set them with powder. Otherwise the texture will be the same as if you had just applied it to the face. It doesn't matter how many hours later. And then that will mix with the natural oils in your skin and it'll melt and move around even more. So it's no bueno. Then once that's done, I'm just taking 
taking a big fluffy brush and just dusting off the excess. You can see how much excess there is. But this ensures that everything is really set in place. I'm using the brush to kind of press it into the skin, press it into the cream product. Make sure it is all set. Now once that's done, I'm going to intensify all the white areas with the Sugar Pill eyeshadow in the color Taco. It's just a matte white. And I'm going to apply that over the white areas. And you will see that will help to really intensify them by making the white more opaque. And blending this out. I really want this to be a nice gentle fade between the colors. This will also help to even out the white a little bit. Some areas where it's not totally white, where some of the blue has kind of creeped over, especially here around the mouth. Now I want the blue area to be a little bit of a different tone of blue, so I'm going in with this sugar pill eyeshadow, and I'm gonna start packing that on top and that will give me the perfect shade that really matches the illustration. This also helps to even things out. I'm also going to use this to kind of define the shape of the eye a little bit more. Like it's more of a teardrop shape. So I'm gonna go over this edge to flatten it out a little bit so that it's more teardrop shaped rather than rounder. Then I'm also gonna take that blue on a flatter brush so that I can be more precise with the application right here on the nose. I'm just kind of squaring this off, taking white and just rounding off this part. Now I'm gonna go ahead and draw the star on my forehead. And for that, I'm gonna be using my Wolf Essentials palette. I'm going to start mapping it out with the yellow. And this is a water activated face paint, so I just need a couple drops of water in there. I'm taking a liner brush for this. This is a paint brush. It is not a makeup brush. And I'm gonna start by just kind of mapping out where the top of the star is gonna go. I want it to be aligned with the center of my face. And then the star, it's rounded out. So I'm just very lightly sketching this in. And it almost reaches the white around the eyes. And you wanna make sure that where these lines cross, it is also aligned with the center of your face. Okay, so that's the star kind of mapped out. Now I'm going to refine it by going in with a heavier hand of that yellow and drawing in more defined lines. Just take your time with this. Go slow till you get it right. The liner brush helps a lot in drawing straight lines like this. And you can see that it dries kind of see-through, so I will have to do more than one layer of the yellow. It's kind of to be expected though with face paint, especially the lighter colors and especially when placing it on top of another color, you will most likely have to do more than one layer. But always wait for the paint to dry between layers. I am going to thicken up the lines a tiny bit so it matches the illustration a little bit more. Now with a smaller liner brush, I'm taking the orange from that palette and I'm going to outline the star. I think this orange might be a little too dark, but I'm gonna start off with this anyway. Because it is looking a little dark, I am gonna go in with the Suva Beauty Hydro Liner in the color Acid Trip, and it is a bright neon orange. Hopefully that'll just brighten it up a tad. I can get the light orange that I want. Then now I'm actually mixing some yellow and doing a third layer on top of that orange. Cause I'm not quite happy with the color just yet. I think this might do the trick. Now I'm going to take the NYX Liquid Suede Lipstick in the color Orange County and I'm going to take it on a little lip brush. I'm going to start shading in the lines. I also want to add some highlights, so I'm going to take the Suva Beauty Hydro Liner in the color Dance Party, which is this bright, bright yellow, and I'm going to use that to highlight the high points of the star. Basically all the parts where I didn't shade it in. Once the star is done, I'm gonna move on to the eyes and they're gonna be super simple. I'm just gonna take the NYX Epic Ink Liner and I'm going to line them to make them seem super, super round. So it's going to be thinner at the inner corner, thicker in the center, and it'll have a little flick at the end. And I'm going to extend the inner corner a little bit, but I'm kind of rounding it out instead of making it a point. And then I'm also going to line under my eye, just rounding out that bottom lash line. I really want to exaggerate the flick and it goes 
up quite a bit. The eyes aren't completely done yet, but I'm gonna move on to the nose and lips. And for that, I'm going to be using the Makeup Forever Color Ink in the color M804. It's just this bright, bright pink. I'm gonna take some onto the back of my hand. A little bit goes a very long way. I already took too much. I'm gonna take it on a little liner brush and I'm gonna start with the nose. It has a little heart on the end of the nose. I'm also going to take that to do the lips, which is just a little outline, much like with kids face painting. And it's upturned like a little smile. Then it's got the little line at the end. Then I'm going to take the Suva Beauty Hydro Liner in the color Grape Soda and outline the little heart on my nose. I mixed some blue and gray from this palette and now I'm actually going to draw in little hair-like strokes to simulate the fur because he has this little detail mainly around the perimeter of the face and on the nose. On my chin as well. Doing the little strokes like on my cheekbone area. You can barely see them when I paint them on, but they dry a lot darker. With face paint, that happens often where it will dry much darker than how it applies. So you have to be careful with that sometimes. Once that's done, I'm gonna go back to the eyes and I'm going to tight line them with the Milk Makeup Long Wear Gel Eyeliner in the color Boss. It's just the black one. And I love this pencil for tight lining my upper waterline. It's really tiny so it gets right in there. Then I'm also applying that to my waterline and working it well into the roots of my lashes. Once that's done, I'm going to apply mascara to my top lashes and I'm using the Hourglass Caution Mascara. I want to make sure you don't see any of that white on the lashes. They got pretty covered in white eyeshadow. So I want to make sure to get rid of that white. I'm only going to apply it to the base of my bottom lashes. I don't want any on the ends of my bottom lashes because I don't want them interfering with that rounded shape I created with the liner. Now the look is honestly done. I'm going to go ahead and put on all my accessories and pop in some contact lenses and I'll be back to show you the finished look. And this is the finished look. I put on a wig because I figured that would be an easy way to hide my ears and I wouldn't have to use face paint in my hair. I got these horns off of Amazon. They were super cheap, but I repainted them to look 10 times better than they originally were. If you want to see a video on how I painted these, it is up on my Patreon at patreon.com slash pompberry. I also got these little ears off Amazon. They're just little clip-ins. I stuck a little bow to my neck. I popped in these black sclera contacts from Pinky Paradise and then I just put Put on these wings that are actually attached to my wig. Normally you would loop them around your arms but that wouldn't work. They would sit too low. You wouldn't be able to see them and I'd have these weird elastic bands running across my shoulders. So I just pinned them to my wig and then I painted my hand so that I could pose like this and it wouldn't look weird. I'm actually like super super happy with how this came out. I did not think it would look this cute and I didn't think I'd be able to translate the illustration exactly but I think I came pretty close. I'm quite happy with what I've achieved but these contacts are really really uncomfortable so I don't want to be talking here too much. I really really hope you enjoyed today's video. Thank you so so much for watching. Thank you to all my patrons who support me and made Pompoween possible and don't forget to tune in tomorrow for another day of Pompoween. I'll see you then. Bye!